Hello cable lovers, welcome to another Prismian Fibre Optic how-to video. My name is Sandy Many, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a circular mechanical sealing gland onto a cable with a solid strength member, such as one of the Prismian Smart Core range of cables. We will be using this gland kit here, which has a cable diameter range of 7 to 20 millimeters, and in fact we'll be working with a 144 fiber smart core cable which has a nominal diameter of 13.6 millimeters. This particular gland kit will cover cable sizes all the way up to 312 fibers. There is another in the range which covers larger cables in the range 20 to 23 millimeters and it would be the gland kit to use if you're installing a 624 fiber cable. The installation method is the same for both kits. So what we'll do now is we'll head on out to the workshop and I'll show you how to install this onto a 144 smart core cable. Okay, we've now moved into the workshop and we're gonna start working on a piece of cable and I will show you how to fit the gland to that cable. The cable we've got today, as I mentioned before, is a 144 smart core cable. And what I've done is I've gone from the end of the cable and marked a position here, which is two meters up from the start of the cable. This is where we'll strip the sheath back to. And then I made another mark 90 millimeters further up from that. And that will help us position the mechanical gland in the right place when we come to install it. Now it is important, as I mentioned before, that you know the diameter of the cable. So you can either use a vernier caliper to measure the diameter of the cable, or you can make reference to the lookup table that now follows. I've laid all the parts out here from the gland kit and this is the instruction that comes with every gland kit. We need to take particular attention to this table, table two in the centre here, because it tells you what particular parts to select depending on the size of the cable. Now the cable that we're using is the 144 smart core which has a diameter of 13.6 millimetres. So I've highlighted the parts that are important. It falls in the range 11 to 16.4. So for that we need to use the medium seal, that's this part here. And then because it's in the 13 to 14 millimeter range, we need two of these spacers, that's these parts here. And we need to use the small anti-torsional clip and the small jubilee clip or hose clip, that's these two parts here. So once we've chosen those, we can go on and assemble the gland. So the first thing we do is to take the gland body and we need to screw the central strength member retention bracket onto the front. So we just do that like this. And it needs to be finger tight, quite tight. Then we need to fit the strength member retention boss onto that bracket. So we undo the screw here and we screw this boss onto the bracket like this. And for this, you'll need a Phillips or a posi drive screwdriver just to tighten this screw up. That's that. Then we need to install the seal and that just goes in the back here of this part there into the back of the body. We need to make sure we put these two spacer rings over here then there's a part that's not shown in these instructions and that's, we recommend putting some silicon grease around this conical section here. It just helps us to tighten the nut up a bit. So the grease comes in a sachet in the kit. We just apply some around this conical section here like that. Not too much, just a bit. Then we can hold that on the back there and we can fit the gland nut on the back here that just retains that in position. And we don't tighten this very much, we just tighten it enough so it all stays together. And then we need to put the hose clamp over the back here like that. Now we can slide this over the, over the cable uh, in preparedness for tightening it up and fitting it. I've gone ahead now and stripped back two meters of sheath from this cable. Most Prismian joint closures require about two meters to be stripped back. I've also cut back the strength member, the central strength member, and it's about 90 millimeters long. This is about 90 millimeters. And I've also removed the black jacket that was over the strength member. This is so that it will fit through the boss to be retained in the gland. 
You'll notice that this 90 millimeter mark is still here, and this is gonna help me align the gland when I fit it onto the cable. The thing we need to do is to put some silicon grease on this first section of sheath, and we don't need very much, just need a little bit, and just spread it around with your finger like that. And that's just to allow the rubber seal to bite down properly onto the sheath. So now we go ahead and we slide the gland assembly that we made just now onto the cable. And we do that like this. Obviously you need to be careful that we don't kink the tubes. It's a bit lively. Okay, now we just need to feed this all the way through. And there you can see that the glass fiber strength member has gone through this boss. So what we do is we just need to align the back of this anti-torsional clip with this mark. That makes sure the cable's in the right position. And then we just tighten this nut up. Now, you can use a shifting spanner. This is 36 millimeters, or you can do it by hand. But you just gotta make sure it's tight. Then having done that, I recommend using something like a nut driver. This is a seven millimeter socket on here, just to tighten up this hose clamp. If you use a flat blade screwdriver, which you can, uh, you've got a likelihood it'll slip off and spear you in the fingers. So that's tight there. And then what we need to do is to just tighten this Allen key here. Hope you can see that. So it grips onto the GRP. Like that. Having done that, you can then just take a pair of cutters and trim this excess GRP off here like this. I need more Wheaties in the morning. Just like that. Okay, and that's it complete. The very final stage is to just insert the gland into the base of a joint. Now I've mounted a CMJ, Prismian CMJ joint in a work stand here. It's a bit black, so I hope you can see. First of all, we need to take out one of the blanking plugs from the bottom, and that just comes out like that. And then we need to insert the cable and the gland through the port hole. And that goes through like this. And then the part that's important is to push home the gland and make sure you hear it click into place. So I'm gonna push it home. Hopefully you can hear the click. Like that. And then just to make sure it's tight, take the shifting spanner that you were using before and just tighten it a bit. You may just get a little bit on the, on the nut here. And you see, I've got less than a quarter of a turn there. And that's all you need. That makes sure this nut is absolutely tight and that it won't come loose in service. And that really is the end.